everyone, it is Pixie again, and we are back for another festive video! I told you I'm pumping them out this year, and it's been good so far, it's been fun. I think this is gonna be my last festive video before Christmas, and then after, I'll probably do a what I got for Christmas and a winter lookbook. And it's gonna be good! I'm sorry if I sound like I have a cold, that's because I have a cold. In the summer, I used to feel great in, like, lipstick and a crop top, and now I just feel great if I have, like, a clear nasal passage and some tissue. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a DIY. Again, I am on the ball with the DIYs, and we are gonna be doing this festive DIY stocking goo. And I'm happy with the way this turned out. You do need to be able to sew for this. I used a sewing machine and I flipped it inside out, but you can also just do a simple blanket stitch around the edges. So don't worry, it doesn't take that much skill. Obviously, if I can do it, it can't take that much skill. I think it's cute. It's pink and sparkly and furry. And it has my backwards initial. So for this project, you are going to need some fabric, something fairly heavy. Um, you can't just use like normal cotton, cause just like imagine it. Imagine a stocking made of thin fabric. It would be weird. So I used this quilted broadcloth. It was super, super cheap. Uh, you're also gonna definitely need a hot glue gun, some fabric scissors that can cut fabric better than mine can. I got these two little decorational pieces. You can pick whatever you want, but I got this pom-pom string tassel thing and some holographic pink sequins and also some sparkly felt, an old stocking, don't worry, you don't need to rip it up, you just need it for a template, some pom-poms if you wish, and some ribbon, also thread, or a sewing machine, or both. So you're gonna lay out your fabric and plop your stocking down on top of it, and you can use a marker and like draw it out, but I'm lazy, so I just cut around it, because I can and it doesn't matter. Once you have your stocking shape all done, you're just going to lay on your decorations in any which way you like and pin them down. Okay, you can sew these or you can hot glue them. I did both. I sewed on the furry fur stuff and then I hot glued the rest of it because, once again, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm so festive. Here I am, sewing. So great. So nice. So in focus. Wow, good job, Jillian. Once you have all of your decorations stuck to the front of your stocking in whichever way you chose to do the sticking, uh, you're gonna sandwich it with the other half of your stocking fabric, and you're going to very, very carefully sew. Again, you can use a blanket stitch. Um, if you Google blanket stitch, it will show you how to do a blanket stitch. It's super easy. Or you can use a sewing machine and do it inside out. So make sure if you're using a sewing machine, or if you're just doing straight stitch at all, that you make sure the decorations are on the inside of the sandwich. They are the jam and the PB. And the fabric is the bread. And you want to sew alongside. Be really careful that you don't sew into the glue, because that can fuck up your needle. And also be careful not to sew over a pom-pom, because that would just be mean. And then, this is optional, but I grabbed my felt and I decided that I wanted to make an initial because I'm cute and 12. So I made a little sparkly white J because that's me. Um, I, I've seen pins where people spelled out like the full name and it was dangling and that was really cute, but I didn't do that because that would have taken more effort. And then with just a little bit of thread, you're gonna sauce it on there. You can also use embroidery thread, which probably would have been a better idea. I should have used something thicker, but this is what I did. <laughs> so yeah, just tie it to the top and then saucer through the pom-poms. And then you have a dingly dangly stocking. Back to Jillian in her bed. And the end result looks like this. Yay! I can't tell if the pom-poms ruined it or not. I feel like maybe I need like a thicker rope or something to make it look less dumb, but I like the dingly dangly bits. Take that as you will. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you try this out. I know it's a little bit late for this kind of thing, 
but whatever. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having fun with your festive or non-festive winter activities. Happy winter solstice today. That's my friend. We're talking about penis sizes. Let me know what you're doing to get ready for the festive season uh, in the down, in the down, down, down. I guess it's getting really close, which is super exciting. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve Eve, assuming I get this uploaded tonight. All right, thank you so much for watching. I love you a lot, and I will see you next time. Bye!